What's up YouTube? I thought I'd bring you a vlog today since I haven't vlogged in a really long time. So I'm gonna go out with some co-workers, grab some food, and see what we get into. Maybe some Funko hunting? I guess we'll see. Short intro, but let's get this day going. How many did you pop? Like 20 of them? None. I haven't had any in about a week. You're a fucking liar. It's true. <laughs> I've officially gone uh, Advil free. I'm going to start a GoFundMe for uh, Brandon's re rehabilitation from, from Advil. Hey now. It's only six a day. Only six a day. Yeah, All at the same time. <laughs> My ghetto drink. <laughs> I was like... Coke machine's broken, so they gave it. Like real Mexicans. All right, so explain the story of why we're here. I'm only half Mexican, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brandon's gonna tell you why we're here. So, <clears throat> so, so we were. I'm, I'm from Rockwall, right? And uh, it's pretty popular in Rockwall. Um, I, I, I'd mentioned the name, and Hernandez had never heard of it, and blew my mind. So we looked it up, and turns out there are three locations close, and they're very, very white. So, here we are. We're sampling. Showing him how the better half lives. <laughs> not only did I n not know that this place existed, but no one else in the kitchen knew, knew this place existed. And then he acted like I should have known like it existed. Like it's some fucking Chipotle with 10,000 locations, but it's not. So. But it's nicer than Chipotle. You see this nice ass tile in Chipotle? That's true. That's true. You see the fucking outside of the building? The, the Coke cans? <laughs> All right, so we just came back from Chilosos. I almost died on the way. <laughs> the white people food didn't resonate. Shit, man, like, I don't know what happened, but... Notice the white person is not dying. Something did not sit well in my stomach and almost threw up in Brendan's car. His inner bean was showing. Yeah, almost threw up in the bathroom, but now I'm good, I think. Now we're in Nebraska looking for gaming chairs and pops, so... Trying not to get kicked out for a recording, so here we go. Dude, I swear to God, like when I move out, I'm gonna sell the bed and I'll buy one of these. Alright, let's see. I think I need this much zoom. They're so mad. That's because you're hella short. But like. Or go ahead and give me one of these. <laughs> so we're at Nebraska. I'm looking for a gaming chair because I just bought a gaming desk. And this one's looking pretty promising. But Brendan wants me to buy this one. It's bedazzled already. Oh, uh, yeah, because I'm in it. <laughs> I graced it with my presence. Okay, it's a little big. Okay, I'm going to ask for like an extra small. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that one. It's cute. It comes with a Brendan for free. Free Brendan, so well, I don't know why I'm spinning. I'm already nauseous. <laughs> Fuck. Corsair, maybe. Hmm? This setup. You got Brendan over there. Uh, I think what you you've got this gorgeous motherfucker over here. If you go all the way back and you go flying off the thing, is this on? Uh, yeah, uh, what's? Do you know what the price of this chair is? 389? Yeah, it has some different colors in it too. Like a car seat. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> why, why would you do this to yourself in public? You gotta test it out. As she's holding you back so you don't die. Like that's. Yeah. It's a very, very interesting test run.
they sell these. Like I hope like a customer comes in like I don't know I want something kind of like but like really cute. Like what, what do you have for me? Well lucky for you we've got shaved asshole to the dog <laughs> stuffed in a wicker basket with some lights on it. They got that's, doggy asshole with some wicker basket. That's, that's literally what this is. It's a wicker basket with some fur in it and some fucking lights. Hey, Friendly disclaimer I have multiple gay friends. I'm not homosexual. 2019 you gotta put that up there. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it in my soul. That is all Brendan. Just like slumber partying it out. Like, hey, Sash sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's beat each other with pillows and do makeup. <laughs> Fuck boys. Here, you, you need the, you're missing something. Here we go. Girl power. <laughs> like, I, I fucking feel like a baby, you know? Like, like, I'm like fucking like slumped over on myself. I can't fucking breathe. That can't be good for your posture. I can't be good for anything. I'd have to take a shit now. Like, <laughs> you know how they take like, lift your knees up, like when you gotta take poo, so it just like slides out. I feel like that's what I'm in. I'm in like like baby poo practice mode. Just like, <laughs> like all right, sweet, lift up the knees. I'm cocked and loaded. <laughs> it's like as soon as you, you sit in that chair and it pushes everything in, and you just gotta take a shit. Here goes the Hershey Highway. <laughs> Orange cream slush. They're bacon cheeseburger. Or <laughs> get food. What are you making fun of me? I'm fat. Okay, leave me alone. They also have a nice cookie dough blizzard that I'm a. Dude, that sounds fucking amazing. Fan of. What are those? They have fried Oreos. You see that? No. Why would you want? You can't fucking eat shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop fucking looking at the desserts. Like, oh, that looks delicious. My fucking brain. It. Do you have soy milk shakes? <laughs> it's skim. Can I get skim milk? I'll go to Starbucks and buy it and you make it for me at Sonic. <laughs> I'll run it into you. <laughs> Portions it out. No, only only three quarters of a cup. I can't have too much. I yeah. bloat. I yeah. bloat. The Oreos. Eat my whole hand. I guess we will try these Oreos. If I lose a hand, I'm suing. Okay. <laughs> she said the Oreos are so good you're going to eat your fingers. So I guess we'll see. All right, we just filmed a review for these nasty ass fucking... Dutch double salted licorice things. And Brandon tried to throw one out the window, but I closed the door on him. And now we're trying to get one out of here. This can't reach before it rots and eats his car away because it's so fucking nasty. Fucking I cannot God. fucking reach this piece of shit. To be fair, it was his fault that it got that far because he pushed it into the corner. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I think I got it. I can't reach it. This is a piece of shit, dude. I, I, I always say don't mess with Texas, but I, I can suck my dick, man. I think we finally recovered from the Dutch licorice. My tongue will never recover. I, I, I think I have PTSD now. I don't think I'm ever gonna eat licorice ever again. In about six hours, my asshole is gonna fucking terrible. Yeah, we, uh, the Chilosos got a pop in Nebraska. Did a bunch of other shenanigans you guys probably saw already. Yeah, driving, driving home now. We're driving to work, actually. I'm driving. Home. Yeah, he's off. I gotta do inventory until three in the morning. But, yeah. Also, I think we're gonna start a podcast pretty soon. So I don't know if we're gonna do it on this channel or a separate channel, but it's probably gonna consist of us driving around, hitting different topics, reviewing movies, and just pretty much pop culture things, or pretty much anything. Anything we feel like talking about, we're gonna talk about. And yeah, let us know. Let me know what you think in the comments. I don't get any comments, but podcast seems like a good idea.
So we've been doing some pop hunting and what better place, I guess, than Madness Comics. Look at this wall, it's ridiculous. Yeah, hate to say it, but Titan Comics uh, probably doesn't have shit on the store. Madness Boy. is humongous. All right, huge wall showing Holy now. Shit. Yes. So oh, is that the one you were telling me about? So this is a cover by Jim Lee. Jim Lee is one of the best comic book artists to have ever lived. Quote me on that, bitches. <laughs> and so he's got this one. He has a Joker pop. They're all part of his DC collection. And then he has an Aquaman pop and a Flash pop. I just got the Flash, the Aquaman. I just bought this one the I other day at GameStop. The one. And I'm looking for the Joker one. But I love Jim Lee. Like, I'm a huge fan. What was this? Um, he's... A fantastic artist. He drew all the stuff for Batman Hush. He re he redesigned all of the uh, DC characters from Justice League from the New 52, and they all look fantastic. All of his notes are in the end of the first graphic, and it's badass. See, that's the dangers of collecting Funko Pops. You get down into this rabbit hole, and then you just lose control. So I told myself Star Wars, and Dragon Ball, but this whole quarter wall is Star Wars. So yeah. 1099? No? Worth it? No. What do you think? It's not the evil Anakin. No? Just going back. So I went to Kino Kuya to get this, but it was sold out. But this place has it all, so. It's too bright. Dude, they have the Twinkie mascot. Really? Down a rabbit hole, I'm telling you. Oh shit. <laughs> they have a pop for everything. Oh my god, look. I think this one's coming home with me. You ready? You ready? This one's funny. You're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind. Oh, they got the cereal ones. <laughs> the noise from Dummy. Maybe we should buy it and put it at work. <laughs> have a good one. We'll be back. You too. All right, so I'm back home from hanging out with Brendan all day, going to Nebraska Furniture Mart, Chilosos, uh, doing a few reviews for you guys. One of them's already up. Maybe both of them are already up at this point. I don't know. Uh, I was going to show you the pops that I got at Madness Comics and at uh, Nebraska, but I had an idea. So I've been really into collecting Funko Pops lately. And I think I'm just going to make a new series on the channel dedicated to Funko Pops. I know a lot of people are into them, but a lot of people aren't. So if you're into them, awesome. Look forward to those videos because I've acquired quite the collection behind me over there. And I recently bought a bunch of new ones. So I'm going to make a video pretty soon showcasing the new ones and my collection as of now. But yeah, thanks for watching this vlog, guys, and more vlogs to come, more reviews to come. I'm trying to keep this channel really active, and thanks for watching. Just leave more comments, man. I love responding to comments and, and shit like that. So yeah, peace out. Laters. Hope you enjoyed it.